Okay, so now we're going to look at um, some examples uh, of optimization problem. All right, so before we do that, uh, let's just look at how a second derivative uh, actually works. So if you've got a y function given as uh, equal to x squared, we calculate the first derivative of the y function is um, basically applying the power rule, which will give us 2x. And then if you want to do the second derivative, you are going to differentiate 2x now, and then that will give you 2 is the second derivative. All right. This is another example where we have a y function equals to 5x4 minus 5x squared uh, plus 2x plus 10. So you take the first derivative of the y function, right? We get 20x cubed minus 10x plus 2. And then second derivative, we are going to be now differentiating the new function, right? Where we are going to get now 60x squared minus 10. Okay, so applying this now into an optimization problem. So let's say you are given a y function, and then the question is find the critical values, ensure if these values are at a maximum or a minimum. All right, so it's basically to find the critical values, we need to use the first order condition and set it equal to zero. All right, and then for us now to decide whether it's at a maximum or a minimum, that's where we use the second order condition. All right. So taking our first derivative on our y function with respect to x, also note the denotion, right? In this case, we are using the letter D because y is only a function of one element, right? Uh, in the next topic, you see now how we can now um, use partial derivatives because now we'll allow our function to be explained by more than one variable. All right. So you take the first order condition of y with respect to x, right? That will give us your minus 14x plus 126. And then we set it equal to zero. So it's equal to zero, right? We take the right hand side of the equation and then use that to solve for x, right? So that becomes minus 14x is equal to minus 126. You simplify further, your x star is equal to 9. Right? So this is the critical value or the turning point. Right? Now we need to check if it's a maximum or a minimum. Right? So basically what you're going to do is to take the first derivative that we have derived. Right? And in this case, you ignore the equality sign. You are just concentrating on the first derivative. And on that function, we calculate the second derivative, right? So we are differentiating it again with respect to x. And then you get our answer is minus 14. Once we have calculated the second derivative, we can use this solution to decide on whether it is a maximum or a minimum. Right. So in this case, minus 14 is less than zero. Therefore, we can conclude that y is maximum at x is equal to 9. Right. Looking at another example, this is now applying it to economics. So it's also a single variable model. We have, um, so in this example, we are given the total revenue function and you're also given a total cost function. And the question is, find Q that maximizes profits. Right. So the first step basically has to do with defining the profit function, right, Given using the given information. So we can say that our profits will be equals to the total revenue less the total cost. Right. When we take out the brackets, the profit function simplifies this to minus 2 cubed minus 30q squared plus 3600 q minus 5000. All right, so to find the critical values or critical solutions, we have to take the first derivative of the profit function with respect to q, and that is going to give us minus 6q squared 
minus 30q plus 3600 right so the next step we'll basically set our derivative equal to zero right and then if you set it equal to zero you basically formulate a quadratic problem right and then to solve for the quadratic problem we use the quadratic formula. So our Q star is going to be minus B plus or minus square root of B squared minus four AC over two A. Our A is minus six, B is minus 60 and C is 3,600. So we put that in the formula and solve. We have two solutions of Q star is minus 30 and 20, right? So we need one solution or one value of Q that we can identify is the one that maximizes profits in this specific problem. So what you're going to do is we take um, second, the second derivative of our um, profit function, right? So we are basically working from the first derivative that we had calculated, right? So the second derivative now becomes minus 12Q minus 60. Right. Now we want to evaluate if this value is greater or less than zero for us to be able now to decide on whether it's a minimum or a maximum. Right. So what you're going to do is you take each of these values of Q that you've calculated, plug them in or substitute for Q in your second derivative uh, solution. Right. So when Q is equals to 20, the second derivative solves to minus 300 and when q is equals to minus 30 the second derivative solves to 300 right so minus 300 is less than zero so we can conclude that this is a maximum right so basically profits are maximized when q is equals to 20.